So thank you very much to our friend, Kaladi. I believe I've seen a comment or two. You see, I do take note. I take notice of our friend who's sending these questions, but uh, or comment. Those of you who comment, thank you very much. But Kaladi wrote in a question, and it says, "Hello. If I have not worked at a large." A rather well-known company. What are my chances of getting hired after clearing PMP? It's a great question, and I often speak about my experience. Before I got certified, I was trying to get into a number of companies. Unfortunately, Colladay, I was not able to break into these companies. It was like hitting my head against. That brick wall, trying to get in by brute force, and I remember going for an interview out in Arizona, in the United States, in Scottsdale, and I had just finished a master's degree. I thought I knew a little bit of project management because I wrote a dissertation about it, but I can tell you that in the world of real business. What you studied in college, if it's not aligned to the PMI, the Prince Two approach, Scrum or Agile, you're really just I don't know what to call it wasting wasting time thinking that all that stuff is going to help. It's not because if you go into a company that practices what is in the PMBOK guide or what is in other domains of studying project management, it ain't going to work. So I went for this interview, feeling all gung ho and you know thinking I knew a thing or two. No, did not get the job and felt like a total idiot because they asked me questions that were founded on this stuff. Couldn't answer them. I was looking very dumb. So at the end of the day, after failing the interview, I mean, you know, when they say, "Oh, we'll get back to you," no one got back to me. It was that bad. <laughs> It was so bad that the people didn't get back to me, and then I begin to wonder why aren't I making headway in these project management jobs? So, Kaladi, I'm going to give you the honest truth. If you really want to make a dent, you have to get certified. Start off with a Cap M, and then move on to the PMP. If you are not able to do the PMP immediately. The CAPM is very low stakes. Certified Associate in Project Management. It's low stakes because it's not as expensive. And to be honest, I've done that exam twice. If you're good at understanding stuff here and retaining it in your head, you'll be able to get CAPM certified. I had a student who got CAPM certified. She got into an agency. The agency in the United States they promoted her so highly in that agency. She called me about five. She sent me a message on LinkedIn about five years later and said, "Phil, my CAPM is about to run out. I've been promoted and promoted. I need to get. I need to become a PMP." But she was able to do that with a CAPM, not even a PMP. Very highly placed in that PMO in that agency. So understanding this stuff can help you in an interview. Trust me, it can help you. Oh, you are scheduled to take the PMP. Let me show you this. Take a little tour with me. I want to show you on the Monster website. So you ask if I'm a PMP, what are the chances? Let's actually get rid of LA. What? Where exactly are you located? Now you do know that Monster is everywhere,、um, but let's let's just narrow it down to the United States. I think this will just do the United States for us. Now, Colady, take a look at how many jobs come up. Take a look at how many jobs come up. Nine thousand four hundred and nineteen jobs. Come on now. Come on now. If you truly meant business in getting a job, don't you think you would at least get one of these as a PMP? They're almost. Oh, you're in Cleveland. Let's let's put that in there. Cleveland, Cleveland, Ohio, Cleveland, Ohio. Okay, 
Cleveland, Ohio. <laughs> One of LeBron's friends, I see. All right. Or should I say former friends? <laughs> All right. So out here we have 50 jobs at this point in time. That's not bad. That is not a bad thing. That's not bad. So take a look. Project manager, senior project manager, infrastructure. You see all these? See all those jobs? Definitely. What, what kind of, what field are you in? What, uh, what line of project management are you in? You see all these jobs? There's, there's so much possibilities here. Yeah, are you in any particular industry? Because, you know, project manager um, spe specialisms, I mean, we could say, oh, I specialize in aerospace. Like, I worked in aerospace for a while, and then I moved into IT, and then I, I did a little bit of healthcare. So, depending on where you're at. Um, project management for small business. Yeah, look, business size is scalable. But do you know what it's all about? It's all about the impression you make in an interview. If you're able to make the right impression, one, you've got the credentials. Two, can you make stuff happen? That's what people are interested in. People just want to know, if I hire this holiday guy, can he make things happen? Yes or no? You need to give them that impression in an interview. See? Oh, fashion. Okay. There, oh, property preservation. There you go. So what you need to do, let me, let me give you some candid advice. You need to take your resume and you need to make it a generic project manager resume by not focusing on the industry you worked on, but focusing on the tasks of the project manager. Leading people, keeping the project on task, ensuring that people are motivated and encouraged, being accountable, being responsible, being a people person, being able to take stock of what could affect the project, risk management. And if you're able to do all of that and put it into a pretty bow, there's no reason why any sensible employer should not take notice of your resume as a PMP. But you're going to have to convince them through your communication and through what you have, you're going to have to persuade them to believe you can do the job. I've been in that boat many times. I've been in the boat of trying to jump from, from engineering into IT. I got pushed back, but eventually was able to persuade the hiring manager to hire me. You know, I've, I've had many, many instances where I've been trying to move from one industry to another. You just have to convince them. It's, it's all about your delivery. So if you can deliver properly in an interview, there's no reason why you shouldn't be hired. Um, you plan on studying the GCP. Oh, you want to get into, oh, you wanted to get into IT. Oh, well, let me give you some further advice here. If you want to get into IT project management, I would say go first of all into the world, after your PMP, of course. Do your PMP. It's coming up. I, I really hope you studied hard for it. But after your PMP, the next step I would recommend is to go for the Certified Scrum Master. Because that is more universal. Let's do a quick search here, Colody. Let's do a quick search for GCP. Let's see, let's see what comes up under GCP. 10 jobs. 10. And GCP, I'm not sure that even equates to what you're talking about here. It may or may not. But you see very few GCP jobs. Oh, a lot of your buddies are in Washington. You just have to make sure that you cover all the bases and terrain. So definitely the PMP is universal, as you saw, 50 jobs right there in, in Cleveland. You may not have to leave Cleveland, you know. But then again, you, you need to make sure that whatever your let's let's click on one of these. So let's type in PMP. Let's type in IT and see what it brings up. IT project manager, for example. Let's see some of the typical skills. And these folks have found a, a job for me in the past. Apex Systems. Um, so what are they looking for? Full life cycle project management. 
So analysis, design, development, testing, maintenance, or, you know, if they're in the world of agile, going through those iterations, um, pretty much wearing the hat of a scrum master, able to jump in during execution phase. All right, this sounds like waterfall. See that? Five to 10 years of project management experience. Oh, both waterfall and agile. There you go. So experience managing projects using waterfall and agile methodologies. When they say agile, a lot of times it's hybridized or scrum predominantly. Um, experience managing projects. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there you go. Those are your three. You see, I told you, go for PMP, hit the CSM. Um, even if you don't have the ACP, it's not a big deal, but you do need the CSM in my mind. It says highly desired. Highly desired is pretty much code for if you ain't got this, <laughs> don't waste your time. You know, um, so I would recommend after your PMP, go for Scrum and just keep me informed through the channel. Let me know how you get along. OK, so you said I did not want to rush to take the exam because, yeah, don't rush. Why would you rush? Don't rush. Take your time. Make sure you understand the exam fully. I would say come study with us. You see, I mean, how many people come online to help give you two cents career wise? Very few people especially in our space. That's why I'm telling you, come study with us and firm up your chances of success. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? Anyway, I hope this has helped you. Um, I did want to take time out of my raving and ranting about um, the book, um, the books that um, PMI has asked us to, um, <laughs> to observe, observe for, for the current the upcoming exam, I should say. Okay. Does that answer your question? Call it a, I hope that answers your question. Any further questions? Because, you know, like what I did, I got certified and I just blew this thing up. I, I, I became a junkie. I started having withdrawal symptoms if I, didn't, if I didn't read the book, if I didn't practice it. I got to Honeywell and I started asking my boss, hey, I like to do more work by getting my, my colleagues certified. It was not in my job description, but... I really wanted to make a difference in project management. Got about 50 of my colleagues certified. And I just have gone from company to company to company, helping my colleagues get certified. And it got to the point I said, you know what? I like this stuff. I want to do it full time. Not that I had much of a choice. The economy tanked and I didn't have a job. And that's how I decided to reinvent what I did by not just being a project manager, but being a project manager and a coach of project management. So that's where I am today. I still work for various companies um, in a consulting capacity. Okay. So, oh, you just finished your 35 hour course. Take our mock exams. I, well, I don't know if you've taken the free 10 question blind mock exam. Let me show you, there's a link out there. Um, it's just 10 questions, but it gives you a run for your money. Well, not that you pay for it. It gives you a run for your time. Time is money, right? Let me let me send you this link so that you can go play with this mock exam. There it is. It's got a password. The password is PMP done data. That's the password. It's 10 questions, but it, it gives you an idea of what crazy questions you could face on the actual exam okay so i hope that helps you and gives you some clarity thank you very much for asking the question it comes at a timely uh, time because i was actually about to record a session for those folks who are looking um, to take their whole project management to a new level by finding opportunities and you know the way to do it is to build up a network around you. Recruiters, people who can be out there, those foot soldiers who could be looking for you, helping you find the right opportunity, marrying your skills with what people are looking for. That's how you do it. Like Apex Systems that we just came across, worked with them in the past, and many, many others, Manpower Professional, um, Tech Systems, the list goes on. If you don't have those kind of people in your corner helping you to find these opportunities and you're doing it all alone, it's almost like a fail, to be honest, um, because all of those six figure jobs I found in all these companies, it was through intermediaries. They have an incentive, you know, if they can hire successfully. 
And that's why I say partner up with these folks. Find someone who could be your boots on the ground helping you. All right? All right, my friends. Well, that's enough of that. That's what you need to do if you're looking for an opportunity. If you're wondering how you're going to take it to the new level. Yes, if you are a PMP, the chances are extremely high that you will find employment as a project manager. You just have to be persistent. But on, on the same on that same topic, being persistent, you have to have some substance so that when you're in the interview, you're really bringing your A game. But anyway, we've talked enough about the career piece. Those of you getting ready for the exam, let's talk about these books from our friends at the PMP and I.